Oh, no. Oh, 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 fam. Oh, my God. Come on, man. The third pick. Give it to two. us. The Portland yeah. Trailblazers. <laughs> yes. Come on. Uno mas. The second pick. One more, baby. Oh. Charlotte Hornets. Oh. And that means oh, the man. number one pick. Oh, in man. I'll take it. I'll fucking take it. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, man. Let me know in the chat. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. How you feeling? How you feeling? Top two? Are you kidding me? Are you joking? This is pretty. This, let me let me update this. Let me update. Uh, let me update. Sorry for cursing. I got a little too excited. I got a little too excited. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. All right. So. Wait. And then uh, San Antonio, Spurt. Was it who's third? Portland. Was he and then Houston? What was the? I remember what the order was. What was the order? Who was fourth? <laughs> Yo, ESPN. He was yeah, Houston, Portland. So Dame, yo, that Portland team, real quick. Dame, Simons, Sharp, and Brandon Miller, or whoever you know, whoever's left. <laughs> After we take the second best player in the draft, baby. Come on, baby. Who do you want? Let me know. Like in the chat, please. Over here. Let me know. I want to see your name. Who do you want? Wemby's not falling to us. Do you want Scoot? Or Brandon Miller. Just spam the chat. I want I was chats over here, rip. Let me know. Who do you want? Who do you want? Tell me who you want. W4 Hornets. Be their first game for that. If we got one, I was gonna run out of the house. It, it can't we can never be that like we can never be that lucky. I said before this, um, if you're watching the video version of this, I am live streaming right now. At the beginning, I said if we can't get the first pick, I wanted Wemby to go to San Antonio. I have a ton of respect for that franchise, and they deserve a player like Wembenyama. And so, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. This, though, I can't even touch it. This, pretty good. Pretty, it's pretty good. It's so dope. We going scooting? So, I see, I see Brandon Mill, Scoot is a Hornet. Here, let me, there's a better way to do this. Hold on, wait. No, it's pretty great, though. It's pretty great. I see Scoot. I see a lot of Scoots. I see a lot of Millers. Scoop can't shoot. Brandon Miller can't really shoot either. To be fair, right? Bro went scoreless in the first round in the NCAA tournament. It's a bit of a it's a bit of an L. But the, the beauty of it is the Hornets need guys that can play defense, guys that can, can create. And Brandon Miller and Scoot Henderson can do both, right? With or without Lamelo Ball, right? They can share the floor with him. Lame if they take Scoot, Lamelo can play the two, and I think play it very well. We saw some glimpses of that um, in, the, in the you know since Lamelo's been with the team. Just haven't had a really good point guard, like a real point guard to play next to LaMelo Ball. It just hasn't been a thing. We, we, we've seen Brad Wanamaker. We've seen Devontae Graham. We've seen Terry Rozier, who's not a point guard. Love Terry, not a point guard. We've seen Isaiah Thomas, uh, Desmond Jr. Like, the level of point guard play next to LaMelo since he's been here hasn't been the best. So, Scoot, as that other sec the secondary ball handler in the backcourt, makes a lot of sense. And Brandon Miller makes a lot of sense when you talk about the other end of the floor, when you have, if you have LaMelo, a backcourt of LaMelo and Brandon Miller, Miller picking up the other team's best uh, perimeter player, allowing LaMelo to play off ball, right? Saving him for the offensive end. Like Miller doing the dirty work on defense and LaMelo play. So there's a lot of options. A lot of options. I'm so gassed for this. I'm so gassed for this. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. We went through so much, we've gone through so much shit <laughs> the last year <laughs> as Hornets fans, from the play in to the off season to the preseason. Well, even let me back up to the draft. Right <laughs> to uh to the preseason, uh to losing Lamelo three different for three different stretches, right? It, it's it's been a tough. We had to be super patient on Mark Williams all year, right? We've seen this team like going these like really stuck in this weird middle ground, and I where they were still winning games but not terrible enough to catch the really worst teams, the really bad teams, the Houston, San Antonio, um and um uh, and Detroit's of the world, and for the Hornets to be, you know more or less beneficiaries, beneficiaries of not tanking properly like those other teams. Pretty good. Pretty good. Bandwagon's approaching your channel after next season. Hey, yo, make sure you subscribe. <laughs> I'd appreciate it. I'd appreciate it. But yeah, I can't believe it. 
It's, it's like a fever dream. I don't even care we didn't get the first pick. I never really, like, this is here. <laughs> this is here, and I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Woo! Oh, yeah, Joe Johnson. That's a crazy autocorrect, but I know what you mean. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> I know what you mean. All right, I'm going to end it here. I'm going I'm to end this video right now. So thank you, for my, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, please subscribe. Um, I'm going to sit on this for a day or two and then make another video, you know, when I'm not as, you know, gassed. I'm going to let this settle in a little bit more and see what the reports coming out of the, the Charlotte front office are. But thank you so much for watching. I've been Sam. You've been great. Peace.